Hey guys, what's up? It's KB here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install Stable Diffusion AI on your Windows PC. Stable Diffusion is a free and open source text to image AI. You can also use it online, which I have made a video on that. I will put a link in the description. You can go there and watch that video if you want to use it online. So now let's get into the tutorial. There are many files that you will need to download. So let's start with the downloading a stable diffusion model. Go to this website, Hugging Face. Uh, actually, I will put a link in the description for my blog post. Uh, there, you will find all the links that I mentioned here. So if you want to follow me, go there and open the links uh, that I mentioned here. Just follow my step, one step and pause my video, do the step and again come back, watch another step and pause the video. So, you know, what's up? <laughs> Trust me, it will be very easy. So let's start downloading a uh, stable diffusion model. Open this website and scroll down a little bit where you start to see model here. We need to download the latest model and we need to download the model where it says original all right so right now the latest version is 1.4 so we're going to download this uh, stable diffusion 1.4 original click on that and it will open the new page in here first we need to click on this access repository all right and we need to log in with the hugging face account if you don't have a hugging face account just create one sign up and then log in once you log in it will uh, refresh the page and now in here you need to look for download weights all right there will be two options one will say full emma checkpoint and one will say sd14 checkpoint you can download any of them one is larger and one is smaller the smaller size is 4 gigabyte and the large one is uh, 7 gigabyte you can download any of them they both works okay so i'm going to download the full one because why not i want everything <laughs> right so while it's downloading in the background let's move on to the next step next step is to download a stable diffusion script and files from github page this is the official stable diffusion github page actually to run stable diffusion you will need at least 10 gigabyte of vram on your gpu my gpu is rtx 2070 super which has only 8 gigabyte of vram which means i cannot run stable diffusion but fear not my brother there is a fork of stable diffusion by this guy and this fork actually lets you run stable diffusion on a lower vram gpu too so if you have a great gpu which has more than 10 gigabyte of vram then you can just click on this green code icon and download the zip from official stable diffusion github page but if you have a less vram on your gpu you need to download this forked one okay by this guy and click on code and download you can follow the same instructions for official uh, stable diffusion or fork one there is no difference between them the only difference is that it runs on a less powerful gpu too that's all now once you downloaded this stable diffusion zip file we need to follow the instructions to install stable diffusion on our computer there are actually two ways to install stable diffusion on windows pc first using a python command prompt and second using a windows powershell yes so there is a tutorial by this dude the principal component uh, he made a tutorial on how to install stable diffusion on windows pc using a python anaconda command prompt which actually didn't work for me so i had to use the another method which is using a powershell so in this tutorial we're going to use the windows powershell to install this stable diffusion and they say here it's easy peasy windows install and trust me yes this is like probably the easiest way to install stable diffusion on windows pc so if you want to follow the python method then i will put a link in the description for this video you can go there and watch it but for some reason it didn't work for me maybe i did something wrong now go to this page and follow the instructions first we need to install the python for windows go to the python website and download the latest python for windows and install it and here is a very important step that you should not miss click on add python to path if you don't do this the stable diffusion will not work you'll face some problems and if you want python to take less space on your computer click on customize installation and uncheck every 
thing except PIP. Check the PIP. Make sure it is added to the path and PIP is checked. Now click on next and install. Go back to the GitHub page and follow the next instruction. That is download and install Git for Windows. Go to Git website and just click on download and click on separate page link here which will actually show you how to install Git and what you need to select when you're installing the Git. And make sure that you check this, add a Git bash profile to Windows Terminal. Make sure you check this, all right? And hit next. And this time select the second option and hit next. And in here, select the second option and hit next 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 and install next we need to install powershell 7 the easiest way to install powershell on windows is to go to microsoft store and search for powershell and the first result will be the powershell 7 just click on install and install it or you can also go to the microsoft's documentation page where you can learn the different way to install powershell 7 on your windows pc but the easiest one is to use a Microsoft Store. Now, once you install this, open the PowerShell. Keep it open. Now in GitHub page, copy this command and paste it in PowerShell 7 and make sure that it is PowerShell 7. Actually, it will show you at the top. It's PowerShell 7.2.6, okay? Paste that and hit enter and it will download some files and it might take some time. I have already done this actually before. So it shows that all the files are downloaded and are present here. So in your case, it will download and it might take some time. Now I want you guys to organize two files that you downloaded. First, stable diffusion main file that you downloaded from GitHub and the model checkpoint file that you downloaded from the hugging face. I want you guys to make a folder wherever you want. Let's say I'm going to make a folder in my desktop. Okay. I'm going to call it AI. Okay. And I want to put both of those files, these two files in that folder. And now I'm going to unzip the stable diffusion main file and it will give you the folder stable diffusion main. Uh, there will be stable diffusion main main twice. So to make it even easier, just drag and drop the inner stable diffusion folder to outside just drag it outside now you have a main stable diffusion which contains the file and you can delete the stable diffusion main zip file now go inside the stable diffusion main folder and make sure that you are here okay you can see all the files and whatnot and in here what you need to do is copy the path of this stable diffusion main folder copy it and go to the PowerShell and type here CD space and paste the path of that stable diffusion main folder. Okay. And hit enter. And you can see we have successfully changed the path in PowerShell. Go to get a page. You don't need to follow these two instructions because we downloaded the files manually. Now go to replace the content of requirements.txt file. Uh, copy this, all of it. Okay copy it now go to stable diffusion main folder inside and look for requirements text file open this with notepad and delete all the contents inside and paste the content that you copied from github and save it just like that uh, let me hide the icons yeah now it looks clean <laughs> next go to github page again copy this command from here and paste it in PowerShell and hit enter to run this. And it will take some time because it is downloading the files that are required to run the stable diffusion. So basically it is running these scripts, okay? So it will download everything that is needed and it will take some time because some of the files here are massive. For example, you can see this first file is actually 2.2 gigabyte. So it might take about five to 10 minutes for me because I have a good internet connection, but if your connection is slow, it might take even longer. So just wait when it's done, I'll be back. All right, it took around five to six minutes for me, it's done. Now go back to the GitHub page again, just copy this command, all right, and paste it in PowerShell and hit enter to run this and again it will take some time maybe one or two minutes yeah it is checking for the files and whatnot so let this happen and it's done next and the last step it's time to place our model 
to the right place okay so copy it or move it i'm just going to copy it and go to the stable diffusion main folder and then models and then ldm okay and in here you need to create a folder named stable dash diffusion dash v1 make sure you act type exactly same as you see here okay so once you have that folder created open that folder and in here paste that model okay now we need to rename this okay we need to rename it to model make sure you rename it to model and checkpoint and that's all go back to the github page now from here we need to copy this last code okay and paste it in powershell paste it and hit enter now it will actually initialize uh, the model and everything and make sure that model is there so you can see it's actually loading the model that we just copied so you can see it is actually looking for that file and now you have actually successfully installed and set up this stable diffusion so once you see this dream command and after that you can type whatever you want actually let me give you more info type here dash h for help and it will give you info how to use it and whatnot you can look up that so let's say i want something okay let's say uh, for simple simple thing johnny depp art i'm gonna type that i can set height and width of that image by typing dash w or dash h so after this i type dash w width space dash h if i type here dash n and type the number let's say for example two it will generate two images if i do only one it will generate only one image if i do three it will generate three images let's say we want the three images output of johnny depp art <laughs> okay now here is the little sad part don't worry i won't make you guys too sad so stable diffusion will use my cpu at its max Okay, it will run at 100%. So I won't be able to record this using a recording software. So I'm going to use my phone. Uh, yeah, see you after I generate. Don't worry, I'll show you everything. You'll see CPU usage. It will go 100%. Okay, welcome to my phone. And uh, you can see I have those same commands here. And as soon as I press and run this command, actually, I forgot something. We need to set the height and width. Okay, uh, let's say 5, 12. Same goes for height, F12, and dash N, let's generate three images. How about that? Now I'm gonna hit enter and uh, yeah, now it's generating. Okay, you can see there is a process going on and look at my CPU usage. Look at it, 97% and it's getting hot, 80 degrees Celsius. So this is the reason I can't record because uh, this program is meant to run on a better GPU, okay? But it's not like you can't use it. Yeah, you can use it, but... <laughs> so now actually let me get back to my computer screen because my hand is hurting. Okay, I'm back and it's uh, done. The process is done. You can see we generated three images, all right? So to find those images, you have to go to the same folder stable diffusion main folder all right you have to go there and uh, in here there will be new folder called outputs go there image samples go in here and these are the images that you just generated it's a johnny depp because <laughs> that's what i wanted all right yeah looks cool all right looks cool this one uh questionable i don't know <laughs> doesn't look that cool this one, I mean, it looks absolutely amazing. You know, not every image will be good, okay? So th that's the reason why we want to generate the multiple images. Yeah, now I feel very powerful because I can make art images within few seconds. I mean, it takes one second to generate or to create an art. This is amazing. <laughs> I feel very powerful look at me so yeah this is how you install 
stable diffusion on your windows pc and this is how you use it it's easy actually and i hope you enjoyed it because well it, it took some time <laughs> yeah if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me please uh, do the comment we can have some chit chat in the comment right so that's it i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye